Mike Sango, uh, King Air Department, prior to arrival, medevac. Mike Sango, we've got him in sight. We're on the Tango ground. <clears throat> ground, go ahead. Down for Tango. Nope, oh, I see you. Make a right turn there on Lima. And then Lima, Delta, Fox Trent to runway 3. Lima, Delta, Fox Trent to runway 3. Mike Tango just had a rag wing go across the runway right in front of me. Colonel Bravo Tango, hold your position. Uh, Tango holding. <laughs> on a clear winter day, just before 5 p.m., a student pilot on a cross country called ground control with a request for taxi. The ground controller correctly identified the small tail dragger aircraft and issued taxi instructions from the general aviation area near the fuel pumps to runway three. The student pilot read the clearance back correctly. However, on taxi out, the student pilot turned left instead of right and taxied out across runway one in front of a landing aircraft. At airports, like in this example, where there are two runways with acute crossings and multiple taxiways and turns to arrive at the runway thresholds for departing traffic, there's always the possibility of making a wrong turn if a pilot is not completely prepared. In this case, a student pilot not based at this airport, who thought he knew the basic layout of the field, tried navigating without an airport diagram. With a correct read back on his taxi clearance, the controller felt confident in the pilot's understanding of the instruction. But when faced with a turn, left or right at taxiway delta, the correct turn to the right appears to go back into the hangar area that he had just emerged from. The wrong turn to the left has a clear view of the airfield and runways. Intuitively, a wrong turn to the left looks right. This is where a good understanding of airfield signs and markings pays off. The student pilot should have seen the runway 119er red and white sign and the holding position surface paint markings indicating he was about to enter a runway not on his taxi clearance. If a runway crossing isn't included in the clearance, you should know not to taxi past a red and white sign. Set the brakes. It's an easy call to the ground controller for clarification. Finally, it never hurts to look left and right before you enter a runway, regardless of whether you've been cleared to enter it or not. Look for traffic, and when in doubt, call the tower and ask. It's always better to know before you go.